Hi, Tim Newman with Soft Light Studios, and it's time for another Adobe Lightroom Classic CC Quick Tip. If you've followed any of my videos about Lightroom so far, or you've watched any of my quick tips, you know that I think of Lightroom as a fantastic workflow engine, wherein I go through and decide which images I'm going to keep, what crops I want to apply to those images, what white balance that I may need to apply or fix in the image, and last but not least, look at taking some swipes at global editing in the image wherein I adjust exposure and the tonality of the image. And that tonality of the image is adjusted by using the blacks, the whites, the highlights, and the shadows sliders in that basic control panel. And for a long time, watching my students work with that control panel, I have watched them move those blacks, whites, shadows, and highlights sliders and look at the histogram to see if they are in fact clipping that image at the black end of the histogram or at the white end of the histogram. In this quick tip, we are going to learn about the option on the Mac or Alt key on Windows machines shortcut in conjunction with those sliders that show you exactly which pixels in the image are going to clip first. So it makes it real easy to adjust those sliders and maximize the tonality of the image without having to do the slide back and forth approach while monitoring the histogram. You know exactly when you're hitting that feather edge of clipping. Take a look at this video to see how that's done. All right, here we are in Lightroom in a folder of images from a recent street photography workshop in New York City. And as you can see, we are in the library module in grid view mode. In fact, it's real easy to tell we're in the library module because the library module is the only place in Lightroom where the grid view mode is supported. You can see that we have an image selected here in this grid view mode. Uh, we could also be in the library module in loop view mode, and we can see that by double clicking here. And now that image is being displayed full screen, but you can see looking up here in the main menu that we are still in that library module. I'm gonna hit the G shortcut key to take me back to the grid view mode. One thing I wanna point out real quickly before we move on here, you can see that we do indeed have a library filter applied, and that is a filter looking at image attributes, and the image attribute that we're currently filtering on is any image that has the red color label applied to it is currently being shown. So that's just giving me a little subset out of all the images that might be in this folder. I'm just looking at 16 of them, as you can see down here in the uh, little status strip down here, out of the total of 148 that are in that folder. Allows me to focus down quickly on just a subset of images that I want to take a look at. So you might recall that getting from the library module to the develop module, either with the selected image in grid view mode or that same selected image in loop view mode, is as simple as hitting the D shortcut key. And that takes us over into the develop module with whatever the last control panel you were using open and the image ready to edit. Now, in this case, we're fortunate because the basic control panel is already open, and that is indeed what I want for this exercise. But if your basic control panel isn't open, just navigate your way through the control panels over here and click on the white triangle next to the word basic, and there your control panel is set and ready to go. Okay, now, before we jump into the quick tip here that we want to show, let's take a look at the histogram up here. Lightroom's histogram shows the distribution of tonality of all the pixels in the image and additionally has these nice little clipping indicators in the upper left hand and right hand corners of the histogram. If this clipping indicator happened to be turned on with a primary or secondary color in it or all white, we would know that either individual channels, pairs of channels, or all three channels are clipping. Uh, in this case, on this side, there's no data in here, so those pixels that are all the way to the left would be indicative of pixels that have no light captured in them at all. And over here on the right-hand side, this clipping indicator is associated with pixels that are completely clipped, i.e. all three channels, red, green, or blue, 
are completely saturated with light and there is no tonality data in those pixel locations. Not a good thing for printing and something that we want to keep an eye on. And historically, if we were adjusting the highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks sliders, we would be watching this histogram to make sure that we don't turn those clipping indicators on. So as an example of what not to do, I'm going to take this black slider, I'm going to push it over here to the left, and as soon as we see this white triangle illuminate here, that is Lightroom telling us that, hey, some of the pixels in your image are completely black in all three channels. Now, in this case, we're looking at a grayscale image, so it's only one channel, but if we were looking at a color image, we would be talking about the red, green, and blue channels. If I hover over this triangle for a second, you will notice, and I can't move my cursor off of here, otherwise that goes away, you will see that there are areas down here in the image where there are some blue pixels that have appeared. And if I hop off of there for a second, those blue pixels go away, come back on top of that triangle, those pixels are back. Those are the pixels that are completely black. Correspondingly, if I take my white slider here and I push it to the right, boosting my whites in my image, you will see that I have a clipping indicator showing up here in the right upper hand corner of the histogram. And if I hover over it, you can see there in the upper right hand corner of our image over there in loop view mode that we do indeed have some red pixels showing up there, indicating that these are pixels that are completely saturated with white. In this case, in this grayscale image, they are completely all white. If this were a color image, that would indicate that the red, green, and blue channels are all completely saturated with light. So, something we want to avoid at both ends of the histogram. Uh, you notice so far that I've had to hover over these triangles to get those colors to show up. There is a shortcut in Lightroom, the J key, that will turn those triangles on and leave them locked on. So now you can see, I can see both the blue, completely black pixels and the white, completely white pixels shown there by the blue and red pixels that you're seeing in the image. And the J shortcut key turns those indicators back on. Last but not least, you can also lock them on individually by clicking on them like I'm doing here and turning them back off by clicking on them like I'm doing again here. So a bunch of different ways to see clipping indicators in your image. Handy little tool and one of the really smart features in the histogram. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quickly is I am going to double click on the lax slider, resetting it to zero. I'm going to double click on the white slider, resetting it to zero. And I am going to show you the tip that we came here for in the first place. Okay, uh, real quickly over in history, I'm just going to clear out the history stack. So I'm starting from scratch on this image. I have no adjustments applied to it, and I've dumped out the history stack that was stored over there. So now I'm going to come over and I'm going to try adjusting this black slider again, except this time when I adjust that slider, I'm going to hold down the Option key on the Mac or the Alt key on Windows. And as I'm moving the slider, you will notice that our picture has gone completely white. And as I move the slider along, and I keep moving further and further, you will see that these are the pixels that are pushing over into complete darkness in this image. And what I want to do is just move this slider back and forth until those pixels go away. And so I'm able to dial in about a minus 18 here on this side with the black. So I have pulled the blacks down minus 18 getting darker, but if we're looking up here at the histogram, you will notice that we have not completely saturated those pixels with black. And as I grab the white slider, I'm going to do the same thing, again, holding down the Option key on the Mac, Alt key on Windows, and I'm pushing to the right this time, and you can see I now have this black image, and what I'm looking for is pixels here that are starting to turn white. And I'm just going to back off so those white pixels go away, uh, about a plus 24, somewhere in there works. So you can see that I've adjusted both the blacks and the whites slider. I've done it in a very careful way with inspection being provided by that option slash alt shortcut key, and I have avoided doing anything that has pushed the histogram out of range on this image. This same option slash alt shortcut key works on the shadow sliders as well, 
And once I've set a black point, I really get a little more latitude with the shadows. And the same thing, once I've set a white point, I really get a little bit more latitude with the highlights in this picture. So, here we go. About a plus, eh, come back just a little bit, about a plus 10 here. And now, you can see that my histogram is now filling up the histogram space that's available to it. In essence, well, in reality, what we've done is increased the tonality of this image, but we have made sure that we are not clipping the image. If we use the backslash shortcut key, we can see that we can see a before and after view of the image. And you can see we've opened up a little bit of the shadows here in the picture. And uh, I think we've just made the picture have just a little more contrast to it by applying those adjustments to it. So there it is. There's your quick tip for today. Remember the Option or Alt key in conjunction with these basic sliders right here gives you a much clearer way of inspecting when you're pushing an image into clipping at either end of the histogram and exactly which pixels are going to be issues when you're adjusting these sliders. All right, folks, that's it. Now you've seen it, the Option slash Alt keyboard shortcut in conjunction with the basic control panel sliders. I think you'll agree this is a much faster way to adjust tonality in the image without playing the game of getting there and backing off like you have to when you're just monitoring the histogram alone. I really like this approach. It's a lot more uh, stateful in terms of looking at the pixels that are exactly the issues in the image. Hopefully you found this helpful and you will use this quick tip as you move forward. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to subscribe down there at the bottom wherever that button's at and keep following us here on our quick tip videos. I'm sure we'll have more stuff coming up for you soon. And remember, as we always say, learning equals skills, practice equals mastery. We'll see you out there.